Welcome to today's video, where we will explore the topic of unaccredited colleges. In recent years, the higher education landscape has seen a rise in unaccredited institutions, raising concerns and questions about their legitimacy. Join us as we delve into this issue and uncover the implications it has for students and the education system as a whole. Before we delve into the intricacies of unaccredited colleges, let's start by understanding what accreditation means. Accreditation is a voluntary process by which educational institutions undergo rigorous evaluation by an external accrediting body. This evaluation ensures that the institution meets certain standards of quality and provides a credible education to its students. Accreditation plays a crucial role in higher education, providing assurance to students, employers, and the public that a college or university meets certain standards of quality. It ensures that institutions have qualified faculty, adequate resources, and robust academic programs. Now, let's shift our focus to unaccredited colleges. These institutions operate outside the established accreditation framework, meaning they haven't undergone the same rigorous evaluation process. Consequently, they don't meet the recognized standards set by accrediting bodies. Unaccredited colleges often make enticing promises, such as quick degrees, flexible schedules, and low tuition fees. However, it's crucial to understand the potential risks and drawbacks associated with these institutions. I enrolled in an unaccredited college because it seemed convenient and affordable at first. However, when I tried to transfer my credits to a reputable institution, I realized they weren't recognized. It was a frustrating experience that set me back in my educational journey. That brings us to the most significant drawback of unaccredited colleges, the lack of recognition and transferability of credits. Most reputable universities and employers do not recognize degrees or coursework earned from unaccredited institutions, making it challenging for students to pursue further education or secure desirable job opportunities. Accreditation serves as a quality assurance mechanism, ensuring that students receive an education that meets established standards. When considering candidates for admission or job positions, we prioritize applicants who have graduated from accredited institutions as it provides a reliable benchmark of their skills and knowledge. It's important to note that not all unaccredited colleges are inherently bad. Some institutions may be in the process of seeking accreditation, while others may specialize in niche programs or offer vocational training. However, it's crucial for students to thoroughly research and understand the implications before enrolling in such institutions. Presenter, if you're considering an unaccredited college, here are some important factors to consider. Research the institution thoroughly. Look for reviews, alumni experiences, and any available information about the institution's accreditation status. Understand the potential limitations. Recognize that attending an unaccredited college may limit your options for further education or future employment. Seek professional advice. Consult with academic advisors, employers, or professionals in your desired field to understand their perspective on the institution's reputation. Explore alternative options. Consider community colleges, accredited online programs, or vocational schools that provide reputable credentials recognized by employers and universities. In conclusion, while unaccredited colleges may appear appealing on the surface, it's essential to recognize the risks and limitations they pose. Accreditation remains a vital quality assurance mechanism, ensuring that students receive a credible and recognized education. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has shed light on the complexities surrounding unaccredited colleges.
Remember to make informed choices when it comes to your education. Until next time, take care and keep learning.